almost Christmas already since we are in the month of November, right? So, for most people, they say that probably, no, ikaw po, uh, saying that this Christmas must be different from all the other years. And I can't blame, no, people are saying this. Probably because of what the world is facing or going through right now. No, as we all know, we are still continually facing this COVID-19 pandemic. From all walks of life, no, wala giyig is fair. Everyone is feeling the effect, effects of this pandemic. If you happen to look at the news on TV, read on newspapers, you would probably know and see more and more problems. No, really that the world is facing right now, and in particular our country. No, aside from this pandemic, like the recent flooding in Luzon, have you heard about that? No, the continuous fight against illegal drugs. No? Somehow, nihinay ni siya pagsugod sa pandemic, but right now, grabe na sad. No? Insurgencies, no? not to mention this fight, no? the more than 50 years battle against the NPA, all these terrorists, and the other effects of this crisis, no? businesses are closing. If you notice, uh, a number of uh, restaurants have already closed. If you go and visit the malls, I think in Centrio, no, only the restaurants located at the first floor are operating. All those restaurants, second, third floor, most of them are closed already. And also around the city, no, the I think several 7-Eleven stores have closed. Okay. Which means more and more people are losing their jobs. So these are just some of the problems no, that we are facing right now. Yet, even if you don't look far, no, we already have these personal problems. With or without this pandemic, we have already our personal problems and struggles that we face every day. No? Loneliness for people that results into depression, all these worries in life caused by all of our what ifs and ingunila no hindi ko gender bias but most of those who are struggling with, with all these what ifs are women ako lang hinayon kasi makadumog si Anson no daghan kayo mga what ifs ang mga tao considering all of this you might probably believe that it did this Christmas might be the worst Christmas ever, as what most of the people are saying. But you know what? In spite of all of this, we can still rejoice, especially this Christmas season. And there is one thing that we can do to overcome all these negativities around us. But before we go on, shall we bow down for a short prayer? Father in heaven, <coughs> praise and thank you Lord for this night that you have gathered us all virtually. Thank you Lord for the gift of technology oh God. That even during this pandemic with all the restrictions we can still gather oh Lord you know and uh, be ministered by your word. I pray oh God that you will give us a stable internet connection Lord I, I pray that uh, you will open our hearts and our minds allow us to get to focus Did you, Do you know how Najash? minutes of God of this uh, gathering, Lord, that our eyes, our minds, our hearts of God is into listening and pondering upon your word. Allow us also, Lord God, to apply, Lord, and live out, you know, whatever you will be teaching us. Let your name alone, O Lord, be glorified and be magnified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Growing up, I always hear people say that Christmas season is the most wonderful time of the year. Diba na? Isong anak. <coughs> jiggy. Kanta sa Jiggy. As a child, I always believe, I always believe this for the reason that it is during the season that I receive many gifts from people around me. No? Mga ninong, ninang, uncles, aunties. Ano kahang sa Christmas na gitna sila mga hatag o gifts, no? And my most favorite gift to receive is 
money because makapili ko unsa ako ang gusto paliton yun no during December but I noticed that after December that feeling of excitement is all gone and we usually hear people saying back to reality na okay so this is what I am feeling while growing up no? that the normal routine no? na pagduol na gali ang December na murag uh, excited no you feel the rush excitement and yet after December it's back to reality and what is this reality that the spirit of Christmas is only up to December no and from January to October or November it's like we are living no with the spirit of this world that is very self-centered have you ever thought about this no. inyo ha pud bining na eksperyensyahan or disulod sa inyong una una i only no got to understand this while i was uh, aging no i was uh, medyo na hamtong na ko no and i have this uh, deep desire in my heart to study on God's word more and more though i have already encountered you know, all these verses you know, that i have been pondering upon but it's just that wala na ko nasabtan and through God's wisdom you no know, uh, allow me to understand his word especially this word in John chapter 3 verse 16 probably the most popular verse you know, for Christians tells us that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Now, the reason why we celebrate Christmas is because of gifts. No. It's because we are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But, no, Normally as a child, no dili man gid kanigud diretso ang imuhang mga kuanan good no that's why sa bata pa ta dili gid kani atong focus no ang gifts yun. but somehow no magyapon siya connection because it is during this christmas that the greatest act of giving and the best gift ever given to mankind no is the love of god no demonstrated by giving his one and only son jesus that is when I fully understood that indeed Jesus is the reason why we can celebrate Christmas joyfully. Even with all the chaos, problems, and difficulties we are facing. Okay? As a child of God, you know, I realize that our joy should be anchored in the fact that Christ's birth gives us hope and assurance of a savior and during these troubled times you know, what a relief it is knowing that you have hope and assurance of a savior you know, amidst all these chaos and troubles around us there is a savior who is in control and knows what is best for me and you now, isn't that amazing christmas is indeed the most wonderful time of the year because of the spirit of giving no? somehow our understanding when we're still a child focuses more, focuses more on the receiving but there is no receiving if there is no one giving and as adult no i hope we start to transition from uh, the receiving end to the giving no, the one who is giving because after all I believe that is the spirit of Christmas no? giving giving love forgiveness okay, mercy and all the other things that we can give to people that is why no, uh, it seems that during this Christmas season no, loving forgiving is very easy to give that is why I tell you, when you want to be reconciled with someone, no, gusto ka mangayo o forgiveness from someone, 
the best season is during Christmas. Okay? Because uh, forgiveness no? and uh, love and mercy is, is in the air. Murag no? humong kaya mga kasing-kasing sa tao during this season. <coughs> what a wonderful feeling it is indeed to have this and to experience this during Christmas. But how can we extend no, this wonderful feeling and experience not just on the Christmas season or in the month of December but all year long? How can you imagine experiencing Christmas all year long? The spirit of giving, no, the spirit of uh, uh, recognizing and appreciating. Okay? How do you like that? Now, I believe that what makes people so different during Christmas season is that we experience so much about giving that even the most kuripot, you know, do you know someone who is very kuripot? No? That person will surely give during Christmas. Somehow, most people during this season gives because of gratitude in their hearts. For what you know, we are usually taught and learn about the greatest act of love demonstrated by God by giving His Son Jesus Christ as payment for our sins. In response to that, because we are celebrating it during the Christmas season, you know, somehow our hearts you know, are overwhelmed. That's why it's very easy to give. It is because of this gratitude that we are uh, experiencing and feeling deep in our hearts. And you know what? Gratitude also, or I should say, lack of gratitude also is the reason why the spirit of giving you know, makes it uh, why the spirit of uh, Christmas only lasts during the Christmas season. Because when we get back to real reality, as what we always say, you know, the day-to-day -day activities, somehow we are resorting back to the world you know, that sucks up gratitude within us. Have you realized that? You know, after December, morag ah, no? Manang December, morag back to reality na, no? Kanang no mercy na, no? Katong, katong, karong December, kung December, pangyo, hangyo pa ko, but karong January, February, wala na. Somehow, no? Uh, dili siya makontinue. And the big reason for that is our lack of gratitude or gratefulness within us. We usually hear say people during Christmas as people are overwhelmed by the generosity they receive is that punta Pasko kada adlaw no? or sana Pasko araw-araw. Now is it really possible to experience the spirit of Christmas every day? Did, did you ask yourself about this? Is it possible? No, with all my heart I believe yes. When we decide to live every day to be grateful. I think that is the key, no, of experiencing Christmas every day. To be grateful about everything every day. So the love of God that was demonstrated by the act of sending his son Jesus no, that we remember and celebrate during Christmas must not only be celebrated and must on, not only be remembered during the Christmas season, but it must be remembered and celebrated every single day, whole year round. And the best way to do this is to be grateful every day. Sa iyo na kayo na istorya, kuya, kay sa buhaton. No, you might say, yes, it is not easy good to be grateful, especially if you are having a bad day. <coughs> Excuse me. Facing problem after. Really difficult to be grateful when you see your brother, your sister, no, that really gets into your nerve. Ulit ka, may repeat ka or hear your mom nagging you or your dad who is uh, passive no? 
And whatever all those things that uh, you complain about, you are experiencing it. Lisod, no? Lisod magpasalamat during those those times. And my life as a Christian is not far from that reality. In fact, no, I live for quite some time mostly swallowed by all of life's worries and problems. No, sa estudyante pa ta, itong worry, no? Kapasar ba kakuha ni ako ang mga subject, no? Ano sa ba kakuha ni mo graduate? Okay? Uh, saba, no? Napaka ako'y panglaag karong Sabado. Okay? Maybe during this time, students or professionals are thinking about when will this end so that they can go back to the normal uh, style of learning. No? They can resume their work. Okay? It's difficult to think to 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 be grateful and think all of this, no? And abi na po sa una pag mahuman na po ang skwela, no? Mahuman na po ang problema. No, no. Problems, trials, no, are really you must accept that it is part of life. Okay? It is part of our lives. And that is why, no, it's hard to say thank you thinking about all of this. Until I learn from God's word, no, in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Since everything that God is created, that God created is good, we should not reject any of it, but receive it with thanks. That is when I realize that even the problems that comes, no along with all these blessings and responsibilities, we should be thankful about. You know what? It is during those times of crisis and facing problems no, that you learn a lot. Okay? That is what I realized. Because before, no, pag naanagal ay problema, murag, akong unahuna din for me is surrender. No? Like, I, 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 I'm sure, no, some of you here are already doing business or starting to think about business, no? When I was starting as a businessman, and I've also asked all of my friends who are businessmen, and salamat, no, kay normal na di ko, when there is already a problem in your business, you will start thinking, ah, saka ang lain nga negosyo nga, wala na yung nga problema ang nakuha niya negosyo, eh, kay samo kay niya problema. And I remember, no, that uh, during the time like eskwela pa ko, as for those students, di ba, what you usually think when naakay subject na maglisod ka is that you will think nga, ah, mag-shift na lang ko, eh, mangita ko sub, uh, course nga walay mat or mangita ko subject nga walay yung unani nga lisod. But you will never find one. Bisan unsa nga course, no naagi na time sa imuhang pagskwela nga naagi lisod the same with business walay negosyo nga walay problema no ingon ga nila bisan daw ang negosyo sa drugs nga easy money daghan gyapo problema no so that is when i realized that even problems that comes along we should be thankful for because it gives us the opportunity no to learn no, and be prepared. So I decided that every day I will start my day by making and declaring a constant, constant na, consistent pagyod nga decision that no matter what happens today, I will choose to be grateful. I will choose to give thanks and I will choose to praise God. So by doing this, no, it makes my day free uh, it doesn't make my days free from problems and trials of course no dili magid na mawala ang problema mga pagsulay but it gives me no by being grateful every day starting my day with pasalamat no with praising God it gives me a different atmosphere that allows me to see and realize the things that I should be grateful for that are far more numerous and have outnumbered all the problems in life. 
most of all, being grateful every day allows me to feel the love of God through His Son, Jesus, who promised me you know, that He will never leave me nor forsake me and that He will never put me to shame. Okay? Filling my heart with gratitude and thanksgiving has tremendously, you know, has tremendously impacted my life. That allows me to freely give to others the very things that I find it difficult to give when my heart is filled with complaints, discontentment, and all these negativities. It's, it's difficult to, to, to give or to share love, grace, and mercy, and forgiveness when your heart is filled with complaints, discontentment, all of these negativities. As a result, I am not only excited when December is near. No? I realize you know, that uh, life will not only become exciting when December is near, but excited every day. Because the spirit of Christmas is present every day. As I usually start my day with a decision to be grateful and express thankfulness to God for everything that life has to offer. Now, does anyone here wants to experience Christmas every day? Fill your heart with Jesus Christ's love. Let this love transform you to be grateful and thankful every day. Then, allow this gratitude, you know, this gratitude within your heart to lead you to obey Him all the way. And that is, I believe, the best way that we can live every day like it's Christmas every day. Thank you everyone and good evening.